So I've been using the SF24D a lot, um, and it is an excellent flash. I mean, there's no offense or buts. Um, I like how it's controlled. I like the batteries because they've been lasting me a long time. I mean, I mean they really work well. But, <laughs> you know, it's a great flash. Um, but the SF26, um, which is the model after that, is, I don't know, it's actually a pretty decent flash. It doesn't have... That, that that kind of control, um, but in a pinch, this thing's incredible. So, you know, it folds flat. It can go up to bounce. Um, it has the wide-angle diffuser built in. Uh, it's small, easy to use, and folds down. So, I love this. Um, and and for what I use it for, for an automatic flash or a TTL flash. I'm going to stick with this one versus the 24D because, I mean, these are five, six hundred dollars on eBay. You know, sometimes you can get them for four, five hundred dollars, <laughs> but in comparison, and you know, for what you get, this is working great for me. Um, you know, I I love the flash. I can literally buy two of them for the price of one, um, and they work. So. Yeah, that's my final determination on the SF24D versus the 26. Um, you know, the, the, this is the one I'm going to stay with uh, because of the form factor for how often I use it. Um, and, you know, it just works. So anyway, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them below. Um, and I'll be glad to answer them. Uh, I, I know the flash is pretty well by now because I've been using them regularly. So anyway, thanks for watching.